Hey, I'm Distinct Beats, and you're watching Inside Trap. Today, I'll be breaking down the melody for the song R&B by Nicki Minaj, Tate Cobang, and Lil Wayne, produced by Distinct Beats and YG Beats. So I was working with Tate on his own project. I've been working with him for about two years, three years now. Yeah, I was just sending him beats, and then He's close with YG Beats. Uh, he's another producer that he works with closely. So YG actually reached out and he's like, yo man, I'm, I'm with Tate all the time, send me some ideas. So I started sending him samples that I haven't turned into full beats. And this is one of our first, maybe even the first one that we did together. Usually when I make music that sounds like retro or 80s, I make sure that it sounds like an actual song. And then the producer, who I sent it to, uh, in this case, YG Beats, made the drums, and then Tate Cobain wrote the hook and basically arranged the song into what it ended up being on Nicki's album. So I started with the piano always, most of the time anyway. It's an electric piano. I was playing around with chords and melodies, and I came up with this line. So I never click anything in. Uh, what I'll do is I'll play it on the keyboard and then I'll fix up, you know, whatever it needs fixing if it does. Um, but everything I, you know, come up with, I just play it into the keyboard. After that, I took the bass notes and just expanded on them. And the bass line is a little bit more interesting than the one on the piano. And it's not an 80s song without a vocal line, which I added from a VSD called uh, Vocal Runs. And then the last element I did was an electric guitar. To make it easier for YG, what I did is um, I created intro, hook, and then I broke down the elements bit by bit. So piano on its own, and then with the bass, and then just the hook part without the vocals. So there's different elements he could use and make it into what he did later, which was crazy. Um, so that's basically what I did on the Nicki Minaj record, r &B. For the 80s vibe, you really want to use like a DX7 type of piano or Omnisphere has some really good ones. But for this particular one, I used Vapor Keys, which is a contact library. For the vocals, I used Vocal Runs module by Studio Linked. And as you can see here, I used um, Guitar Rig and just a reverb uh, inside of Cubase, EQ'd, and that's pretty much what I did, just added some gain. I love making what I love making, so that's usually my approach when I get in the studio. I just make what I think is great and what I think is fire, so um, my whole career is based on, if you look back at the TJ and Tekka stuff, it was new, right? So it was a new sound at the time. I think Leak was probably one of the most original beats that I did, um, and at the time, I didn't think any anybody was going to get on it. Um, I was thinking Chris Brown or somebody in that lane, but it ended up being TJ. So you never know if there is an artist out there who resonates with your sound.
but if you chase you know whatever's fire now whatever's hot at the time um that's gonna fade pretty quickly and then you're gonna be just another producer who does that type of you know sound so it's very very important to have your own sound and your own intuition when you're making music that's probably the most important thing that you can learn as a producer is to have your own sound and listen to your own intuition that's number one and the reason why i got into the music industry was because of beat stars um, so i was selling beats online at a youtube channel um, and then most of the artists at the time would find my beats online over time over the years i got more into the industry side where abe had called me to be the first client for the beat stars and sony music publishing uh, venture which was amazing i'm super grateful for that uh, it was a life-changing opportunity and so from there beat stars publishing was working with greg and the team it was just amazing the biggest thing that i can say is that they have my back no matter what so that's super important um, especially in the music industry that's cutthroat um, you need somebody like that you need a good team so you know of course with my management electric field entertainment and beat stars and sony music publishing i think that's pretty much as good as it gets the best advice i have for other producers would be to again your own sound is the most important and then based on that i would say don't chase you know don't chase anybody don't chase any placements of course you have to network of course you have to reach out of course you have to you know promote your music but um that shouldn't be you know chasing a door that never opens um you should find your own group of people to work with and then build with them create with them and just be sure in your projects and your artists and your producers and your team of course if you're after you know placements with the top artists that will also come from creating your own relationships and not, you know, necessarily directly trying to send a pack for Drake or whoever is, you know, uh, working right now. So don't chase anything, focus on your own craft, focus on networking the right way and your own sound. That's all I got for you. And that's the most important thing.